Hello, my name is Spencer Newman with Balaf, and today we're going to be demoing uh, our industrial IoT camera. So this is our IOLink master. Uh, it's this one is communicating with Profinet, but we have other uh, field bus protocols like Ethernet IP, CC Link, uh, DeviceNet, things like that. Uh, just communicating back to the PLC via an Ethernet uh, cable. And it's IP67 rated, so it's machine mountable, and that's going to help shrink your cabinet space. Uh, and you're also going to save costs on wiring. Uh, you're not having to take all of the sensor and device cables directly back to the PLC. You're just hooking up with a standard M12 sensor cable right into the master. Uh, so on the master, there's uh, eight ports here, and each port has a status indicator. Green is showing that it's communicating uh, IO link with the device. And here we have uh, an amber status LED indicating that there's being auxiliary power uh, sent to this port. Uh, and so right now we're going to cut to a quick clip of the web server and show how you can parameterize the ports and the different devices connected. So this is the Balif web server that is built into each of the IOLink blocks. As you can see, we can see what is what device is connected to each port. And as you can see here, this green LED is indicating that it is communicating with IOLink. And these flashing green LEDs show that it, the ports are ready to communicate with IOLink. These ports can actually be configured to operate with IOLink uh, devices or just a standard uh, input or output a discrete device. And on each port, you can actually go in and click on the device and do some parameterization. Here we have our smart light connected and you can go ahead and change the operating mode via these drop down menus. You can change the color, uh, the amount of segments, things like that. And you can just go ahead and write that to the device. Here we have our expansion hub connected and we're powering not only a, a photoelectric sensor but we're using the expansion port uh, on the hub to power up a 25-pin D-sub connector which uh, this connector is actually unique to Balif. It's an IO-Link uh, connector so you can bring your valve banks over IO-Link. And with that expansion hub if you're not using a valve bank you can also uh, go down another level of I.O. and connect another expansion hub. So if you did that with all eight ports and had two expansion hubs uh, for each port, you could have up to 240 points of I.O. on one master block on one IP address. And uh, again, that uh, master block is machine mountable, so uh, you're shrinking your cabinet space. And the only thing that's really going back uh, is that Ethernet uh, cord so you're saving on cable costs instead of having to run all of your uh, connectors and cables back to the PLC. Uh, right here we have our uh, an RFID read write head and with RFID over IO link you can actually get rid of a processor and just connect that read write head directly to the IO link master and still get that data so as you can see here uh, each of these tags is changing um, the color on the smart light, whatever it's programmed to, uh, as well as, you know, just the little L uh, LED on the master block, just for uh, different status indicators or a process. Right here, we have our uh, magnetic encoder, linear magnetic encoder, and it is an absolute encoder. So it's very precise and if you were to lose power instead of using an incremental encoder the absolute is going to maintain its position and it's not going to zero out um, unlike the incremental encoder so as you can see here we're detecting the position and we have it connected to uh, the smart light just for an added display and visual uh, for the any operators around here we have our photoelectric sensor. It's a diffuse background and it's ignoring anything behind the object, but once it reaches the taut distance, we're going to see on the smart light, we're getting an output signal and, you know, just for added clarity for any operators, hey, this position has been reached, we can go to, on to the next step. Here we have our profile style uh, linear transducer. It uses a magnetostrictive uh, magneto technology 
and just to detect the position of the magnet uh, as it goes across the measuring range. And as you can see here, we've reached the set point, and so you get a notification with the Smart Lights buzzer, hey, uh, you've reached the end, now it's time uh, to, to go back, or whatever the case may be for your application. Uh, these VTLs can come in many lengths, up to 7.62 meters, or about 25 feet. And they're all made here in Florence, Kentucky, with a standard lead time of about five days uh, from build to ship. Uh, but in emergencies, you know, if you really need it, we can overnight it and get that to you in about one or two days. Uh, the interesting thing with the IOLINK uh, BTLs is you can actually have multiple magnets on the BTL and get different uh, measurements, whether it be position, velocity, or the differential position between two magnets. And so you can actually get up to 32 measurements using 16 magnets on an IOLINK uh, BTL. And then just uh, over here we have our smart light. Again, it's just kind of showing the different uh, functionalities that it has. The, here it's showing our run light mode. You can change the background or foreground color to any specified uh, color that you wish. And here we can do different stack. We can just do a standard stack light with three segments or we can do a flexible mode where each individual LED can be a separate color. Uh, these smart lights do come in three segment, which as you see here, a one segment and a five segment. And again, that's just added clarity and visual for any operator to show a, a process as it's going on. Um, and really what we're showing here with all of this is that all of this data can be communicated back to your PLC and with the IOLINK master's built-in JSON server, you can actually pull out that data and use a third-party software like Node-RED or Grafana to uh, create a program and monitor the status of your devices uh, remotely. So as you can see here, uh, we have a little bit of a delay. It was made by our college co-ops, but you know, if you want, you can update the response time and have it uh, be in real time. So as you can see here, the smart light is changing. With our encoder, you can see the position update as I move. There we go. And again, the smart light is still indicating that level change. Uh, here you can sh uh, see the BTL level is changing uh, with that position. There we go. And as you can see here, we have our valve bank. So once I initiate that sequence with this photoelectric sensor, you can see it cycle through uh, all, of the, all of its uh, coils. For more information, visit ballot.com.